Hey guys! Today I'm bringing you my monthly challenge for October. So this month's monthly challenge is book the first books in, ser in a series that I have had on my bookshelf for a while or have been interested in for a while or have recently just gotten and want to read. So the first book is on my Kindle, first grave on the right. Um, I've read tons of reviews for this book and have been really interested in it in a while. I wanted to get it in paperback but I can't get it till like November or something like that in the UK. Now the um, American release date's already been and gone. So I um, decided to get it from Amazon USA um, for my Kindle. So shh. But yeah. So I've got that to read which I'm looking forward to. Um, and because we started on the new books, um, I'll continue on the new books. These are books that I've actually got in the last week and um, plan on reading that are the first in a new series. The first one is Darkness and Bound by Kerry Arthur. Uh, this is totally Julie's fault from You Women and Kick-Ass Chicks. She reviewed this book. I loved the review. I always wanted to read a Kerry Arthur book and decided to get it. I've already read this. This book I read on the 1st of October and hope to get my review up as quickly as possible although I am behind with my reviewing because I took a week's holiday and didn't manage to keep up my reviewing. Um, I enjoyed it, I loved it, I think people should buy it and read it and I'm definitely looking forward to the second book in the series which is out the 25th of October. Um, Grim Space, first book in the um, series, Brain Went Dead Zone, sorry. Um, this is Mandy from Smexy Books' as fault. She told everybody to give this series a try and everyone's been reviewing it so I thought what the hell, try it and see how it goes. Then um, Bloodbound by Rachel Vincent. I've always wanted to read a Rachel Vincent book. I liked Chelsea from Vampire Book Club's review on it so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I'm not quite sure this one's really going to fit what I like. But I just wanted to give it a go. I'm not a big urban fantasy fan, but I wanted to give it a go. So, and then on the last new books I've got is Blood Rights by Kirsten Painter. Yep, that is it is Kirsten Painter, um, which again is another Chelsea Vampire Book Club's fault. She has put her October poll up for the October group read. On Vampire Book Club and this was on there and I'm desperate to read this and um, last time I checked was actually quite a while ago but it's between this book and Kindling the Moon and um, I'm hoping this book wins if not I'm still gonna read this book anyway um, so that's that section now this old books that have been sat on my bookshelf for a while that I want to read would be Touch the Dark I've had since 2008. I think this is also another book that was up on Vampire Book Club's book choice for October group read, should I say, sorry. Um, but I don't think it got many votes because it's quite old. Um, I don't, I can't honestly say that I'm going to read this book because I've had it since 2008 and it's been sat on my bookshelf. But I want to try. Um, what else? Heatwave by Richard Castle. I started it quite a few months ago. I got 54 pages in and stopped. I definitely want to finish that for October. Also Hounded by Kevin Hearn. Heen. Um, Julie from Your Main Kick Kick-Ass Chicks sent me this book months and months and months ago. I've still got the, rest the order thing in it because I'm forever keep stuff. July <laughs> she sent me this and I still haven't read it. Sorry Julie but it's going to be read in October. It's a definite must. Um, Kathy Rake's first book, Deja Dead. I've had that for a, a while. I can't can't remember when I got it. it. Could have been September last year. For somewhere between September last year and now, I'm not sure. And Sh Charlene Harris, Dead Until Dark. Totally meant to read this way back in like July and August because of Diana's guest guest post but I didn't but I can definitely say that um, just trying to compile up all the books La 
la la la la singing to myself that first grave on the right and darkness and bound blood rights dead until dark heat wave and hounded are definitely books i desperately want to read during october the first books in a series that i want to get done and that's six books shouldn't be too bad and then if i've read those and still have time then i am um, want to read so i am organizing them by size i'm a bit weird that way i want to read touch the dark grim space uh deja dead and blood rights they're my second pile if i finish the first pile also um on that list is three days dead by kelly mending i think it's how it's pronounced that's a book i'm going to buy or e or kindle if i get through the first pile also kindling the moon is another one that i'd be interested in reading and um as, as an ebook that i don't have yet but you know they're, they're on my list my little note paper list so those are the books that i'm challenging myself to read for the month of october i'm challenging myself to read most books or ebooks that are the first bits of a series i'm also going to try and read some more JD Robb books in the um, In Death series. I think I'm up to uh, six or seven now I think. Holiday in Death is the next one I've got to read in that series which I actually have left in the living room. What else? Um, Cheryl and Kenyon's Dark Hunter series I'm going to try and read Bad Moon Rising um no mercy and retribution in that series what else and then there are three new books out on tuesday that i want to read um i think it's inferno's kiss by monica burns i can't remember what the name of that series is called there is um serpent's kiss by thea harrison which is already pre-ordered and should hopefully be on my Kindle on Tuesday. And there is, it's not Angel's Flight, it's the other one, Angels of Darkness, I think it is, with uh, um, Leona Andrews, Nailini Sai, and two other authors that I can't remember, um, on my reading list for the month of October. So that is pretty much what I'm challenging myself to read for the month of October. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark, I am sat right next to a window. Oh, oh. La la, ignore the clothes. But it's starting to get a bit dark now. At the end of October, the time changes, clock's changed, sorry, and it's already starting to get dark, so I might look a bit yellow and I apologise, but I didn't have enough time today to uh, film this in the morning like I wanted to, so it's now an evening one. So sorry about that, guys. Anyway, that is everything for my October monthly challenging myself. Let me know if you guys plan to do anything like that. Are you planning on challenging yourself to read anything in particular this month? Are you challenging yourself to read any first series in a, any first book in a series? Or is there any first book in a series you want to read like Hounded? Which is extremely popular. Or like Grim Space. Anything like that. Um, Ooh, also, it's another new book that I've mentioned. Wings of Fire is also going to get read and reviewed because um, I've got high hopes for it, but I don't know. So I have quite a bit of reading to do this month. Hopefully it'll be all manageable, but sometimes it depends on my mood and it shifts around a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!